This is Cars and Bids. And this is the rooftop of the Cars and Bids office here in beautiful San Diego. That's right. People for months have been asking us for a tour of the Cars and Bids office. And today we're going to give you exactly that. And we're going to start a lot more new content on the Cars and Bids channel, doing all sorts of fun stuff with me and Kenan and Filippo and our friends doing fun and weird Cars and Bids stuff. But for now, the office tour. Let's do it. Mario to put a- This is what we call problem solving. Again, I'm teaching you guys. <laughs> you have to push the pound sign? <laughs> and when you first walk in, you are greeted by, Kenner, would you like to- My V8 Ferrari. So I've, I'm a huge Ferrari collector when it comes to 118 skill models, at least. And I realized we have this beautiful like art atrium, like yeah. places to keep cool stuff. And so I figured I would put every V8 mid-engine Ferrari up to the 488 because I don't have an F8. So, and and they're, they're in order there. They're in chronological order. Now, somebody... You got the Dino... Oh, GT4. No, somebody... <laughs> I'm so annoyed. All right, this is just... We can't have this. This is just unbelievable. Kenan individually measured out the location, the spacing between each Ferrari. And, and he insists on playing with them like they're toys, but they're not. And I switched just, the 308 and the 328 because I didn't think uh, he'd be able to tell... And guess what? For weeks, he walked by it with no idea. All right, now they're lined up again. I'll have to get the measuring tape after we finish this, but I think everything is in order now. But Why yes. did you go summer coops and summer spiders? What happened there? Well, I bought what I liked. <laughs> and so they did make, so this is, they did make like mostly coops version of everything. And I think I have also all of the coops versions, but I figured I wanted these. These You look don't nice have here. an F8. No, I don't. The, nobody makes an F8. Like, nobody reasonable. Hot Wheels doesn't, Kyosha doesn't, nobody does. So, so we uh, just have these. Like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and I don't want to spend that on an F8, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm honest. Who's let alone spending hundreds of thousands of dollars? We don't even want to spend hundreds of dollars right, on Right, even for models, we know it's desirable. <laughs> right. The 430 has unfortunately large wheels. Yes, although, you know, stock. 23 so. inch stock wheels. <laughs> yeah, now, I do have a better version of that, but I keep that one at home because I'm worried you're going to play with it. And so I brought <laughs> so some. I want to bring the nice cars down here. Yeah. Now, that's a six cylinder. And that's this is a, a four seater. Yeah, and so but, that. yeah but this was the first, this was the first mid-engine Ferrari to have a V8. This was the first production V8 Ferrari road car. Yeah, but this is a bunch of BS. No, it isn't. This it, isn't this consistent. Is, There's no, no F8, you got six cylinders and four seaters. It's very inconsistent. No, it's, 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 it's all relevant. And maybe we'll have other cars in the future, but for right now, it's the Ferrari exhibit. Couldn't so. find a red 348. Harder, um, harder than you think. <laughs> into the lair. All right. No, you just unbelievable. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even straighten them. What a Philistine. <laughs> this is the cars and bids lair. Now, that's quite a view when you come around that corner, if we're honest. Ford GT, Carrera GT, Countach, and then Filippo's Fiat 500. Well, you know, we cover our bases. <laughs> really? You can tell which corner is Doug's. Um, it doesn't hide them. I, mean, I destroyed the garage in my home, and so uh, I only have this garage, and so this is where I'm parking all of my cars. Which admittedly, I'm, I don't object to at all, because I get to stare at one of Gandini's, you know, great designs. Gandini's and, greatest design. Yes. Some would say his greatest design. I don't know about there, there are quite a few very good designs. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But yeah, and Career GT. Uh, it is, when you got the car, I think I said, at some point we're going to normalize having right. a Career GT. And now anybody who comes to the office, anybody who works right, here. Right, it's like, all right, we're just. Every, <laughs> the whole company has normalized a Career GT. We're surrounded GT. Career GT. Let's just move on with our lives. All right, what are we shooting today? Yeah, right, exactly. But, so these are the cars. These are my cars. They sit in this corner. God knows why. There's also some chairs over there. This is, I sold this last week and now it's uh, going away. It's going to New York, so that's gone. It's sad, that's the last time you'll ever put on that top. What a shame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it lives a happy, new, a happy life with a new owner. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be thrilled with it until it inevitably breaks down a couple of weeks into his ownership. Well, hopefully you get a couple of weeks before he's A couple of months, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing about Kenan is, Kenan lives a couple of blocks from here. And yeah. so he comes here at night. I don't. Uh, that's true. I have come here at night. He just also. comes. So there's also a sound system in the office. So I come. I put on my podcast. I listen to my music. I clean my M5. <laughs> I sometimes will just sit and look at the Countach. It's nice. We've Kenan, had dinner here before. Kenan comes here to get away from Emily, his spouse. <laughs> I'm not married, and there's no one named Emily in my life. But we'll move on. 
But okay. this is the little lounge area that has well, been assembled. And here. now we have all these boxes. These well, are where the models are. Well, those were temporarily parked there. I gotta find. I have to find a better location. I didn't think the cars would be on exhibit for so long, <laughs> and uh, and now that you're playing with them, they might not be. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna take them away from me. <laughs> yeah. I might take them away from you. Okay, I will the boxes them are here. I like that they're there. Anyway, so the, yes, this sitting area, which is set up specifically so you can stare at the cars. Right. Which is, which is lovely. Right. Let's do that. The best seats <clears> in the house. <throat> <sighs> so over there, we have this uh, group of cabinets that was hastily assembled one night by Filippo, if I recall. Yes, Filippo and his wife, yeah, put that, put that together. together. And one of them, not sure which one, realized that the box, there were enough boxes to spell out high exclamation mark. Oh, that's what it does? Yeah. I H -I never knew that. Exclamation mark. Or the abbreviation for Hawaii. I, you know, either one, but. I never knew that. You're right. It says yeah, high exclamation mark. High exclamation mark. Now, these boxes have stuff in them. Here. Yes. Some, are there any interesting treasures in any it's of like those? There's like tons ones? of AA batteries in here. Oh, a Technic. Was this a. G Senna. Senna. Wow. Senna GTR. The license plates in here, and here's a, a shell. I'm guessing that's from the Defender. Sure. This is a Porsche GT3. Uh, remote control car and it was sent to me by Porsche when I had a, a child a couple of the automotive PR people sent me some gifts and this was a lovely gift uh, except that in order to do it it like requires like serious capability like you have to paint it <laughs> like it's oh man hey you have a, a new baby you must like have a lot of time on your hands like look at this like oh you have my to God. it's like a shell you gotta like break it out of its packaging and <laughs> is this painted is this the, the color but you get the yeah. point I don't really have the time to do it. So Kenan is going to do it. I don't think so. I don't really have the time for that either. And I don't have a, a wife or kids. Um, what about Emily? OK, this is this corner of the office. Is there anything else to say here? Filippo bought these. Uh, oh, no, oh. I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> right. fix it up, of course. You can't just like leave things. Around. <laughs> this is the other thing. I always am cleaning up after the chaos that ensues whenever he's here. <laughs> Normal. OK, this is, this is our podcast studio. And this, and this is, is Alyssa. Alyssa. Alyssa helps out with our production and making things happen. And she, yes, and she was in my very early days of production. She was my, my cheerleader who was helping me get everything set up. So I'm very grateful for Alyssa. And she also recently redesigned the entire podcast year or took part in making it look a whole lot cooler than it did before. Yeah, and we have lights. Yes, we have lights. Now, I have never been a fan of uh, expensive production equipment. <laughs> <laughs> So they bought these lights, and I, what do these lights cost, if you were to guess? A lot. I have no idea. <laughs> Nobody wants to think, say. Yeah. My light budget would have been $37. <laughs> it would have been an investment in sunblock, is what your idea is. So you use nature's light. Nature's but, light. Yeah, exactly. I bought this at an antique store, and if you plug it in, it actually turns on. Which we have off because it's incredibly bright and very annoying. By the way, Alyssa's working right now, and so we're interrupting her. But here's Kenan's famous skateboard. Yes, my Ferrari skateboard, which <clears throat> has, remains unridden, very low mileage, just like most Challenger dollies. This is a road sign I stole in Atlanta uh, 10 years ago. <laughs> you stole? It was, already had been taken down, but it was sitting there next to the pole that it had been on. And in my opinion, <laughs> that constitutes. Don't the, you think? Well, it's like it's yeah, finders keepers in that case is it's what you finder. invoked there. We have a washer and dryer here, which is useful. I was cleaning up around them and I noticed, like, kind of wedged between them, there are these boxes. Now, this space was previously occupied by a car collector who designed the building, and I found these <laughs> Magneti Morelli boxes for some. He had a lot of like old Ralph Romeos you and, know what this and Ferraris is for? and stuff like a that. A distributor. Yeah, that one, well, yeah, that's a, a regulator. Yeah, it's yeah, a distributor, distributor. Part of the distributor. But yeah, so, so I was like, those are so cool. Those belong on the shelf. I just think they're neat. I don't know if they looked that old when he used them or just due to the heat of the dryer, they have aged to that, but they're cool. Here's a uh, Senna GTR. There it is. Where is the, oh, this is the famous A-class cup. A-class T-cup. This is the famous uh, thing that Nick got us from uh, Whistlin. Yeah, my, from Whistlin Diesel. Idol, my, my love and idol. Yes. So yeah. wait a minute, there's more Ferraris down here. Yeah. Yeah, those ones are just kind of forgotten about, but... Uh, yeah, well, okay. yeah, that's more correct. Uh, <laughs> well done. Well done. So Doug had a tradition of getting me the most gaudy, obnoxious <laughs> Christmas present he could find, and he thought that this BMW carpet 
fiber mouse. It's not just a mouse, it's a carbon fiber, fiber mouse. mouse. Yeah, and it even has a BMW part number, which I think is great. What, you've <laughs> never used this fantastic gift I've given you? Well, I've preserved it for, for posterity, like and, the, like and here it is. Skateboard. You're just given things and then you preserve them. Well, you know, when people who know me really well get me things I really want, you know, I make sure to use them a lot. But there are other things, <laughs> other things that we have here. We have some photos with our guests that we take on a Polaroid camera, which is cool. These are Ferrari 355 F1 shift oh, paddles from yeah, my friend. Are. Where'd you get these? Uh, so my friend who has one and has, has had one since 2005 and got me into the car, these were on it at the time, and he swapped them out for carbon fiber oh. paddles later, and he gave me the original ones, and I have them, and here they are. And here it is, here it is. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's the 355 F1 experience. That and that's being so cool. Broken down. Shift but yeah, I've got the, oh, we have Mercedes Benz interior perfume. Yes, I have one of those that we uh, used to work in an exotic car dealership, and we got loads and loads and loads of these. And so I grabbed grabbed some, and okay. they're actually very nice. Do you know the names of the moods? No, I don't know. Isn't Indigo one of them? No, one it's one? it's far more esoteric. Uh -huh. Free side, All right. downtown, yep. nightlife, and sports, <laughs> <laughs> which smells like sweat. Yep, nice. Thank you, Mercedes Benz, for that one. We have quite a few, quite a few cool things. Some cool books as well. Um, it's and we're adding to it all the time. There's also these road signs which I didn't steal. I don't know where they came from, to be perfectly frank. That run on the right is Colorado State Highway. The one on the left is a toll road in Denver. I don't know where these came from. Next, we have this space. Yeah, so this space is largely just for storing cars. So over here, we keep cars that he's filming or is done filming with. And then I also like to park here. So that's my E39 M5. How did you get the mirror that close? To because I know how to park a car. <laughs> Kenan, that's like an inch away. Yeah, I'm very good at it. I'm very good at parking. Trust <laughs> me, you think I would risk damaging the M5 or somebody else's car? Get out of here. So that, I was very careful back in. Filippo also was in a, our director of operations was in a fit today and had to move a car and was like, Yo, you park over there, park over there. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And so I knew it was small, but the car would fit. And then um, our director of content, Sean, this is his Porsche Cayman. And I wanted to give him lots of space so he wasn't nervous that I was going to door ding it or anything. This is Sean's Cayman. Sean runs content for us. It is a base model Tiptronic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to him. <laughs> No, it's not. Although base tip Caymans a... are so cheap. It's a conversation for another time. Yeah. What else do we have over here? A lot of lights. A lot of lights. When these cars aren't here and it's raining, I've actually played tennis down here against that wall, <laughs> which, which was very enjoyable, I found. So here are the, the infamous washer and dryer that I had mentioned. The guy who designed this space, he had lifts there and his cars would be worked on there. And so he had claws and like, and, you know, people got dirty, whatever, working. You could just throw your stuff in here, which is very convenient. Now we use it for detailing supplies. These are terrible towels. I wouldn't use them on my car, but these are better. These are definitely better. And we use those on like these paint. Towels and these towels were on purchased by Filippo, ramps. who has no concept of washing Detailing or like, yeah. Never in his life washed a car. Right. And I don't either wash a car. There's three levels. There's Filippo, who is a complete wash car idiot. There's me, who likes things to be clean, but would never label uh, a tub of detailing spray return to upright position after filling bottle. Make, he made that label himself. That was Kenan. That's and then there's it. Kenan who knows what this is. Yeah, it's an applicator. <laughs> you don't know what this is? Of course not. Unbelievable. I have never in my life used How such do you a... apply tire shine? Do you just like... I have a tire shine applicator, but it doesn't look like that. It has a handle and everything. There are many applicators for many applications, but... Now, uh... the washer dryer is especially nice because like I said, Kenan lives very close. And so when... <laughs> When Sandra kicks him out, he can come here and- Oh, it's Sandra now. Then wash his clothes. <laughs> it was Emily, now it's Sandra, just going down the line. Then we also have a kitchen. So we have a little kitchenette, coffee maker, and, and stuff like that. We have lots of office supplies. We also have lots of snacks, which there's another thing you don't want to do is get snacks that he's going to devour because he will, they'll be gone. You, you can't like, you have to like strategically hide them like you're growing up with like a sibling who just eats I all your stuff. I told Filippo that I wanted these s'mores chocolates that I really like, and he responded to that by buying chips and protein bars. I have been slower at making my way through the chips and the protein bars. All of the sun chips are gone, which is something. Wasn't me. Um, all right, all right. You ever wonder what that is? <laughs> that mess is for the Sono system that's in here. Yeah. Did Filippo create that balsa wood uh, platform that it's on? I believe he had a hand in that, yes. Initially, I think he helped wire it up. Now, you, mean, a, you mean he plugged it in? He plugged it in, yeah. I was trying to be generous. <laughs> <laughs> we also have to show you our bathroom because when when Clara kicks Kenan out, <laughs> he can come here and shower. It's because there was a service bay here. Get really dirty working in cars. You can go and take a shower. That was the Kenan, logic. Have you ever used the shower? 
so many times. <laughs> <laughs> he's it all the time. And why is that, Kenan? Because because when Marlene kicks me out. <laughs> No, when we play, well, sometimes uh, off Doug and I and Filippo and um, some of our friends play tennis before work every day. And sometimes I need to come directly to the office from work. I don't have time to stop at home. So I bring my change of clothes. I come down, I shower, I go right out and I start working. It's nice. It's really, it's there. So why use it? You know? Moving on to the rest of the office. <laughs> Moving on to the rest of the office. Now, the rest of the office, as you can see, it lacks one of the primary things that most offices have, which is human people. And the reason for that is we started this business during COVID-19, you may remember the pandemic. So we hired people all over the country. A third of our employees are here, a quarter? I think, yes, I think, only, yeah, about a third of us are in San Diego. But mainly we use this office to make videos like the one we're making today and to store cars that are gonna be for future videos. And when, but, when Sarah <laughs> tells Ken and it's time, he, he can sleep. So it's, it has all those, Elements. <laughs> so there aren't a lot of people in the office at the moment. That's why it looks so so vacant. We have a couple areas where they would normally sit. This is one of those, and this is my desk right here. This is Kenan's desk. I like to have a desk where I can see all of the cars, and I can look over and see my M5 and see the Ford GT and the Carrera GT and the Countach and whatever else happens to be in here. So it's a very it's a nice vantage point, and it also gives it. It's a prime spot for when Doug comes in. He will pull a car in here usually and then just hit the brights to blind me for no reason. It's very charming. Look at this picture. Yeah. This is a... It's a great picture. It, this is in Italy too. Yeah. Imagine if you're driving around in Italy where everybody's driving a Fiat Grand Punto 0. Right. 0.9 liter and Pier three cylinder. And Piero Ferrari. Piero Ferrari's <laughs> cruising around in a La Ferrari Aperta. <laughs> So this cool. would change your life. Yeah, I, yeah, that would, I'd, I'd lose it. What but, is this? My what? uncle gave me some books. I, I recently opened a package that had arrived with some sound equipment. And I this forgot is to a, do this. This is a I, book of horse properties in Ocala, Florida? It, yeah, he, he has one of the horse properties in Ocala, Florida that happens to be for sale right now. So, why do you have... It. He sent me home with it, so I, I don't know why, but I, I have it. So, there it is. well, that's not, that's there not my There she is. <laughs> There's Bridget. She's kicked Kenan out, but she appears in the Ocal. Kenan, this is the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen you I know. possess. It is ridiculous. That's why I had to, I had to retain it, because it's so, <laughs> it's so insane. You have to look through it. It's wild. Of course, you haven't latched on to the... Uh, yeah, there it is. This is Kenan's wash display. And what happens is, to be clear, <laughs> Kenan comes into work every day, and he, set, he sits down at his desk. He carries his briefcase in. He's all, he sits down at his desk, and he says, all right, time to display my watch. No. Well, well, kind of. <laughs> so I rest my palms on the palm rest of where they belong on the computer, and my watch will scratch the, the palm rest. It'll really scratch the hell out of the watch and the, and the computer. And so I have a stand to take it off and put it on there and take my ring off and put it there as well so that I can work. And then and when I'm ready to leave again, then I put it all back on and I leave. I ha there's a routine and a procedure. There's a procedure for everything, according to Kenan. Yeah. Kenan also has this Ferrari 312P. Yep, which is a gift from uh, Filippo's nephew, and I keep it on my desk. What do you do with the sticky notes, if anything? So, well, sometimes when we get cars, I have to take delivery of them because I'm here and you can't be bothered. If I have to unplug the battery or something is not quite right, I'll write it on a sticky note, put it on the steering wheel, so if he goes to move it, then he knows that the battery is disconnected or the car is plugged in, and now he's gonna leave me a note that just says, Tenet, thank you. Very, very helpful. These Filippo's, are other cars Filippo's that Fiat, we were at the from aforementioned Fiat. Fiat. You'll notice that Filippo supports our veterans. We got a conference table here. We don't have conferences, but you know. We like to have the ability to. You never know. And we have a board with things that are on it. Okay, let's sit at the conference table as if we were real. So, how are the figures in Q3? Great. Uh, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> that's that. Yeah. You know what's interesting about this traffic cone? I've never seen this traffic cone before in my life. I don't know why it's here. Oh, it has a, it has a QR, QR code? code. What happens? You know, I've never, I've never like felt when I see a traffic cone. I've never felt that I needed to more information. <laughs> right. Its existence is information enough. <laughs> this is uh, cars. More car storage. Yeah. We There's just... Filippo. Hi. You've seen Filippo on our live shows and our podcast. For some reason, he has decided to sequester himself over here in this corner. We can't really figure I it out. To avoid people. Filippo doesn't want right. to be near us. Which, Which was successful until about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> well, right. Filippo has removed any personal effects from his desk because he knew I would make fun of them yeah. if he had anything here. I have a gift for you. Oh, this is the keys to a Nissan Figaro. Aha. Now, more on that in a second. But first, goodbye, Filippo. Goodbye. We must walk over here to our Cars and Bids merchandise. Kenan, take well, it away. Well, it's not all of it. 
<laughs> so we have six shorts left. <laughs> That's it. So we have it stored around the corner, but we have them here. I think the idea being so you can put on a cars and bid shirt when you need to, or something. Look at this. Such. Watch this. Watch this. Whoop. Wow. <laughs> if anybody See, wants to know what, on, like, knowing him in real life is off. like, this is exactly it. This is your realm, so you can talk this about this. This is where room. I film my videos. You've seen it on my videos, or maybe you haven't because I only just started, but this is where I live. This is where I breathe. This is where I come to exist. And it's where Kenan sets up his inflatable mattress when Margaret, <laughs> when Margaret kicks him out. It's a great space. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This also was like the lounge area of the previous tenant, so like he had a, a lot of amazing car art here, some of which you can see where it once was. Now, oh yes, this is out. my camera. High yep. quality, tripod, best, best in the business. Because it has a pistol grip, yeah, so you, you can aim it any way you want. You want to go higher? Boop. Lower? Boop. Saves me such a small amount of time, I cannot express to you how relevant that is If to it me. makes things quicker, Kenan will not do it. <laughs> Kenan yeah. says no! I need that split second. The and last over thing, here. we got my Toyota, it's gonna sell. It's got some rust, but it'll be fine. <laughs> this is probably the coolest but part. But the though. piece de resistance. Is the car elevator. We have a car elevator because we are underground and it would have taken a lot of little loop-de-loops to drive down here and so we have a car elevator. We have would you like oh, may I do to the show honest? us how it operates? Yes, with, with great pride. Not for public use. This is only for me and Kenan. <laughs> right. Pull this up. There you go. There it is. And now we wait. What will be revealed? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Look how cute. My God, that is a cute car. Nissan huh? Figaro. In pistachio, the way it is supposed to be. Would you like to drive it in? May I? No, I haven't. No, you, you have, no. It See, might be too much car for what you. What you've done here is it, you have not followed the procedure. You have to leave, you cannot open the gate prior to the, the platform you reaching the bottom. You'd be fine, you'd be fine. Now it's at the bottom. All right. This is why there's a procedure when you follow the rules, things get done. Oh, you're gonna get in? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Yeah, no, this is gonna be great. This will be great. Okay. Oh. Boy, this is a small car. We'll give you a hundred dollars if you can figure out how to put the roof down in this car. You have to get out of it to open the... A hundred dollars. I'm not going to give you any hints. I know how to do it. It's the easiest hundred dollars I've ever made. <laughs> this is so cool. Disturbing Filippo at work. All right, put it in the middle here. I have told Ken and I would give him a hundred dollars if he can figure out how to put the roof down. He goes, I know how to put it down. It's no problem. <laughs> Even though you did it already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't paying attention. He was photographing and I you was working. You owe me 75 if you can't. <laughs> that was never part of the deal. It's all part right, of the so, deal now, bucko. All right, so I have to, this has to be opened. So that's the tricky part, I assume, is what you're implying here. Which I'm guessing has to be done by maybe having the seat forward. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to a blazing start here. I've earned $100 and you've seen the Cars and Bids <laughs> office. More videos oh, to come. Goodbye, everyone. That's not how you do it. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> nope, that's the other thing. Nope. <laughs>